Hey everyone, and welcome back to another game of Qatar. Uh, I am the Wanderer, and today we are playing another ranked game on our road to number one this season. Uh, unfortunately, we've had a bit of a slide these last few games. I haven't recorded a few just to, as I was playing, and we've lost a couple. So we've dropped back down to around the sort of 1650, 1660 mark, I think, in the MMR. So we're back into Platinum 1, unfortunately. But it's a new day today, and hopefully we can score a win. So today, looking at the board, we have the second pick. Uh, and aside from this four, there's basically no ore, which is always makes for a fun board. Uh, let's have a look at some of the other spots. I like this five, nine, ten as a potential pick. Uh, it's the best, oh, next best wheat. Um, and good spread of everything. Uh, this six, nine, ten up here is great. Uh, there's a lot of brick and wood on this board, so lots of fast building is going to be happening. Uh, in terms of ports, the wood port down here would be potentially good to get to. So maybe building on this six, four, three, uh, and then something. Uh, the problem is we're going to need wheat. Maybe like six, four, three. Yeah, no, nah, I don't know. We'll see what red goes first. Yeah, red takes the six, nine, ten high production spot. So we could take something like eleven, nine, four as our first pick. Uh, I just don't know about it. It's it's pretty average production. I prefer it as a second pick. Uh, if we take the eight, five, ten, which is obviously the next best production, the problem with that is these two ports are both going to be useless. Uh, so I don't like that for that particular reason. Uh, obviously six, four, three is not bad. I do really like ten, nine, five, like ten, nine, five down to this wheat port because I think we're definitely going to get wood on the way back. And I'd rather play without ore in this situation, given that the four is really the only good spot. And we may get on that on the way round. We probably won't, but you never know. Uh, but I think we'll definitely get on some wood. So I think we'll be able to pair this five, nine, ten with something okay. And that's my reason for taking it. So I think going left here is the play because the wheat port is handy for us. And obviously this three for one. And But someone, I think, will definitely take this. Uh, but that wheat port's still fine. Blue takes the 643, which I did consider. I think it's a better pick in third, just because he's probably guaranteed some wheat on the way back, I think. So that's probably why he's done it. So I think he might be thinking 64384, just for the, the wood port and the good wheat uh, orange sheep, which I don't mind. So now orange has two in a row. Yep, yeah, so orange takes that 1194, which I quite like. Uh, I'm just not sure what he's going to pair it with. Maybe the, the 8510? Yeah. Good pick there from Orange, gets everything, uh, only has bad sheep, so I'm happy, uh, I'd be happy with that pick for sure. Yeah, Blue does take that 8-4, which I think is a good pick. So, I think we're going to go without all this game and have to take this 6-5-11. Uh, it gives us good, strong uh, wood and brick to build, great wheat and sheep, obviously no ore, but we can build left, and this might get left open. Uh, red, I actually think Red probably takes it, but then there's still this 11-3. I think we have to do it. Yeah. 6, 5, 11, and we'll build left. So I'm happy with that setup. We have a lot of sheep, uh, but we do have this three for one port here. Uh, actually, I think red takes the 8, 10, and opts to go without ore and start with a three for one port. That's probably what I would do if I was red. Oh, opts for the 11, 4, 3. Uh, I don't mind it, but I think, I suppose it gives him everything as the three hits to start. Uh, interesting, I suppose, then he's going to try and get on this 6-3, 12-2. Uh, so that's not a bad pick. Uh, oh, sorry, got to roll here. Uh, hit the nine. So I think um, that being left open is a huge spot for us. And the nine hits, that's the three for one, and I'd rather the three for one there. And the six, we just need a five. A couple of fives, and we'll be, we'll be off and running. Orange gets a road down to the sheep port. And the nine hits again. Got a bit of a stuck hand right now. Jeez, uh, I really want to do that, but it's I'd give anything else for the brick. Uh, as blue gets the trade off. So red red will be able to road settle here, I think. Yeah. Yeah, jeez. Blue gave that up without much, without much a fight. Um, okay. Uh, can we get uh, some brick? I'll go sheep for brick. And I will do wheat for brick. I'll probably even do two. Otherwise, I'm, I'm four for wanting that wheat for a brick. I'll offer that to red. Red's thinking about it. No, nah, doesn't take it. Okay, I'm going to have to four for one, unfortunately. We have a stuck hand. 
Uh, I'm going to take that. And I really need to get, I think, like, I think that, like, I mean, that's a good, that's an okay expansion. Don't really care about it. I think getting uh, down to the, this 810 is huge. And then if we can get on the wheat port after that, we are cooking. And the 10 hits. No fives yet, though. A few fives and we'll be laughing. Blue drops a road. Hit the six. It's got a lot of sheep. Red rolls a seven. I don't know what he's going to block here. Maybe the four of ore. Or maybe the nine wheat, actually. Nah, goes the four of ore. It's fine. Steals from orange. And drops a road up to the three for one. And pops a dev. Wow. Two hits. Does nothing. Uh, I'm tempted to four for one here. Uh, but I don't... I just... I don't want to. I, nothing other than a five... Actually, no. Nothing sevens us out with one roll. So... As the seven hits. So I think blue blocks red here, probably on the six. Oh no, it goes for the ten instead. I suppose, I don't know about that. He picked it real quick too. Then passes. There's the first five, that's what we needed. Another five here and we've got this spot. And red rolls a seven. So it probably goes back on that four. And probably steals from blue. Or does he attempt to steal the, the brick from us? Goes on the five. I think we are getting robbed here. Yeah, it's all right. We lose a sheep. That's fine. Uh, definitely going to be robbing from red here again. Uh, I kind of want to solo block him just for that. I'm going to get some wheat. And we'll drop that here. And we hit the 10. Uh, I mean, I don't often like to solo block at the start, but red is by far ahead, and that's his only brick. So I think that was actually a decent block. Wheat for wood. Snap call. That's oh, our sheep for wood, not wheat. That gives us the settlement if we don't get stolen from. I know it probably gives Orange the sheep port, but it's the sheep port's not really that valuable for him. Oh, maybe gives him... The, oh, no, just gave it up for some ore. Interesting. Must be holding for a city. Ah, oh, there's the five. Okay, massive. 07. Awesome. Uh, there's the settlement on the 810. We've got a three for one now, so I think we're going to three for one here for another brick. And we'll drop the road... Uh, down to the weak port. All right. I'm liking where we're going now. And we'll pass. And eight hits. Yeah, that weak port now on the eight or nine is going to be big for us. And we hit the 11. Red gets a little bit of ore. Orange gets his settlement down on the sheep port. Doubles up on the eight brick. And we hit the six. So red clearly doesn't have a knight, uh, and I don't want to be giving him something easy here for that settlement on the three for one. All right. Ooh, we get the seven. Okay. So I think we're still blocking red. Uh, do we solo block red, or do we block him on the 10 here with orange? I think we do that, and I think we still steal from red, though. Get some more sheep. Uh, I kind of want to pop a dev here, just to get a bit of control, and no one's played a knight yet, so I think... Yeah, I think that's the play. Could have maybe... Yeah, no, that's the play. Ah, VP. Oh, I would have much preferred a knight. Uh, look, a VP's okay. It does help with our win condition, but I don't know. I swear my first v my first um, dev card's always a VP. Uh, but oh well, it is what it is. Curious if Red's got one too. That means the first two dev cards bought were VPs. As we hit the eight. Five here means that we've got the settlement on that wheat port too. Orange drops a road down. Interesting. He must be trying to going. To, he will be trying to get down to this uh, brick port, just to give him some more wood as well as having doubled up on that eight brick. Red has eight cards here, so maybe he can't settle. Ah, uh, no, nah, he four for ones for the wheat and holds. Yeah, he's one card off. And the nine hits. Uh, okay, nothing we can do. We really need a five. We'll just pass. Another six. Lots and lots of sheep going out. Blue three for once his wood for a brick and settles on the wood port. All right, that makes blue look quite a bit stronger now, just with the uh, being on the six and the four. And we hit this just sheep everywhere right now. I hope red's not holding onto a mono. Gets his settlement down on the three for one. And then three for ones for a wheat. Holds. There's the five. Okay. Uh, I think we can settle in dev here, and I think that's the play. So we. Three for one for the ore. I think we dev first here. And get a knight. And then let's pop the settlement down. Perfect. All right. 
Looking good. Four points, technically five. Uh, and we do have road play at the moment if those fives keep hitting. As Orange drops another road getting down towards this brick port and pops a dev. Red rolls a seven, so we'll probably be getting solo blocked here, probably on the ten or the five. Or maybe the five would, but I'm pretty sure it'd be one of these two. Or the nine. Oh no, goes the eight instead. We'll lose our wheat. It's okay though. Red drops a road. Must be looking to settle on this 11-12 and then connect his road around. All right. Uh, we will play the knight. I don't want to block orange here just because I'm pretty confident he has a knight and I'd rather him leave it. Uh, so I'm going to block red and get some wood. And there's the five. Okay, let's go. We've got two roads here. So we're trying to look at what our expansion could be. So we can come through here and connect. We can build another settlement though. So maybe the five, two is and just you know a way to wrap that road around potentially i think that might be the play Ooh, gets the two for one off with red uh drops a road interesting oh geez those fives are hitting now let's go and orange drops it on the six and steals from red must have wanted something specifically and red rolls a seven we'll definitely get blocked here that's right we can build two roads regardless yeah blocks the eight takes our brick that's okay and red pops another dev all right and the nine hits uh okay i'm happy to drop two roads here uh, we'll go one two and we have to take road unfortunately but i don't want to build another one here uh just because i need that for the settlement as we have it now so as long as we don't get robbed through this thing we can settle again Eight hits, unfortunately ours is blocked. Orange drops a road, gets onto the brick port. Red will play a knight here, I think. Ah, oh, seven's out, dang. I mean, it's good because he has to get rid of his cards, but we're gonna lose that settlement, which is a little bit frustrating. This will probably go the 10, the nine, or the five. Potentially this five. Takes out wood. And pops another dev. As we get a nine, I'm starting to get a little bit scared of red just because of these three face down devs. That four hits. And blue, two for ones for an ore and passes. Three rolls. Red's got a lot of cards now. Red could easily take road off as two. As uh, four for ones for an ore, orange doesn't then holds. And we hit the six. Red's sitting on ten cards. I think he might be able to settle on that 11, 12. Yep. I'm curious as to know what he's holding here. I can, he's definitely got one knight and one VP. And then I don't know what that third card is. Could be a mono. All right, five. Ah, far out. Um, uh, can we give up uh, wheat for sheep? Or oh, sheep for wheat? Oh, blue takes that. I'll take that every day of the week. Uh, now, is a dev here better? Or is a settlement better? I don't know. Orange only has five cards, and I don't think he wants to get to this 5-2. Oh, I'm torn. I think the settlement is better. Actually, no, I think the dev's better while the five is blocked. We need that. We need it off. Yeah, the knight's fine. Also, we'll put us in the lead to army, too. Uh, I, I think red will beat us in that race, but I think it was actually the right play. Because I don't think orange is going to be able to road, road, settle over there. Uh, blue, three for ones for an ore. Definitely holding it. Gets his city down. We hit the nine. Uh, I think orange may look for the connect. Oh, trades one for one with red. Uh, I definitely think that red's sitting on a mono. I just have that feeling. There's no way he's got three VPs, right? As orange two for ones for an ore gets a city down. Five hits. That hurt me a little bit, but it is what it is. So red with 10 cards here. Two roads and he can take road office. But opts for the three for one for the ore. May pop another dev, or we might be able to get a city down. Yeah, gets his city on the on the nine on the ten uh, six nine ten. Okay, so I just don't know these. These could be three VPs. I've got to be blocking. I've got to be moving this, and I've got to be blocking red here. Uh, I just got to block his production. I think it's got to go the brick as we get more brick, and we hit the eight. Okay, that gives us the settlement now. Uh, we'll take that for sure. Gives us eight, and then all we need to do is get a knight, but I think we'll lose road next turn. 
Okay, we're getting close. We're getting close. Couple of good rolls here. As we hit the nine. And then there's a seven. We'll get blocked here on the six. Oh, steals from red. Interesting. If red has a knight, we'll see it here this turn as orange takes road from us. I'm going to call out that does red have three VPs? Nah, plays a knight. Okay. Pops it on the four. We don't get blocked here. Interesting. I mean, a five here would be massive. All right. We hit the eight. That's okay. Um... I don't know what to do here. Because once Orange connects that, he puts him at what? He's at six now. That'll be seven, eight, nine. So there's no point just dropping a road here and going for the race. So I think we hold. Because we can't dev right now either. Uh, blue rolls and sevens. I think he blocks the six. Oh, blocks the nine. But steals some red. Okay. We're getting a bit of help here. Uh, okay, we can dev now next turn, which is important. We need to get another knight on the board as orange connects his road. Red rolls a seven. I think orange definitely gets blocked here. Probably back on the four. Yep. Red pops a road going for the connect. Only gives him seven though. Okay. Uh, we get another nine. Uh, I think we dev here. We need a knight. Yep, huge. Okay, happy with that. And we hit the 11. I feel like it's really often in these games I get caught up and don't get to build a city and I often think that's our downfall in these games because right now everyone's got a city except for us. I mean, we are the only ones not on ore. Orange now has seven points and ten cards. Nowhere to settle though, so it has to city. Yeah, pops a dev. Nine hits again. Red has eleven cards here. Could opt for the, uh, the steal of road if he has two VPs. Three for ones for an ore. Cities for... I think he's on nine points. Wow. Okay, I think we roll first here. Eight hits. Um, I think we do play the knight. We can't block red and orange together. I think we've got to be blocking red. Take some more brick, which doesn't really do anything. Uh, we can build two roads here. Yeah, I think we build two roads. Pushes orange on the road game at least a little bit. Um, oh, do we dev? No, nah, I think we dev actually. Yeah, sorry. I think the dev's the right play. Um, let's get the dev. It's just something big here. Oh, road building. Okay, that's that, that actually helps. Because that means we only need to personally build three rows as orange sevens out. So we got the two in hand with the road building. If we can, if we hit five a couple of times, we can literally just go road building and then one, two, three for the win. Orange has to discard a lot of sheep and wheat. I think blue has to be blocking red here. Oh, offs for the solo block on the 11. I suppose a quick city here could give him the game. And three for ones for uh, his wheat and drops his settlement down on the six. Five, come on, roll a five. He rolls a seven. Okay, that's okay. Uh, I'm assuming either the 6 or the 9 get blocked. Blocks the 9, steals from red. I think orange is on 8 points. There's the motto. I knew someone had it. Ah, damn. Okay, what does that let orange do? Maybe road, road, settle? Because they do have the brick port. Or is it... No, straight for a city. Gives them only 8 points though, but big for them. Hurts us too, a lot. And red rolls a 7, so he'll be blocking orange. Hopefully on this 8. Or eight or four. Yeah, solo blocks on the eight. Oh, far out. Uh, we have to block them both. Who do we steal from? Let's go with orange. Get some brick. Uh, nothing we can do this turn. Hopefully we can survive another cycle with a few five rolls. Another seven. Okay. Uh, who gets blocked here? It's got to be maybe he blocks red. Probably on the nine. There's an eight. And red rolls another seven. This is going to go on orange's eight. He'll lose some brick. <laughs> yep. All right. Nine. We can pop another dev. I think I'm going to pop another dev. I need a VP here. Oh, we have the VP. Okay. Uh, 
instead of now worrying about road, we can pop that road building uh, for the win. And like, if we can get the settle in hand. Interesting. Blue saying we need a city. Um, I agree with him. If orange or red can't win this turn, ah, oh, I'm pretty sure red's gonna be able to win this turn. We're so close. Oh, we can't even settle. I'm so dumb. I keep doing that. I'm so dumb. Orange extends his road too. I think red wins here. Yeah, definitely. I think he wins. Should be able to take road. Yeah, or road, road, settle. Ah, oh, we're going to finish second here. Oh, has the mono. Wow. Red will be able to take road. And has a VP. Uh, uh, ah, yeah. Okay, takes road. I was so confused then. Oh, that's a rough loss. We finish in second here, playing without ore, pretty comfortably. Um, oh, that was close. I mean, I feel like the, the mistakes there with the devs, I guess, uh, instead of opting for the city. But that eight barely rolled, and we needed that wheat. Uh, the nine did obviously make up for that, I think. Eights and sixes, so looks tons of sevens and nines. Uh, we look at the res card stats, uh, dev card stats. No year of plenty drawn, both monos though. Interesting, and then we look at the resource stats. So we had the third worst resource production um, and the third worst resource score. So I actually think we did pretty well. I mean, red got robbed into oblivion and still managed to win. But yeah, that's interesting, guys. Let me know what you think of that game. Uh, I think I definitely made some mistakes. Can you let me know where? Uh, was it my initial settlements, do you think? Or do you think it was more likely uh, the opting for devs instead of cities? Let me know. And as always, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, you know, don't forget to like and subscribe if you're enjoying these videos. And stay tuned for more. We'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.